Hi everyone, I'm Jill Hobbs with a free design for you all. www.comsurfmyweb.uk Inspired by a similar project on the DecoArt website where you will find lots of information about DecoArt products, projects and lots more at www.decoart.com Pattern Path instructions can be downloaded from the From Little Acorns album on my Picture Trail website. Right click on each of the three pages and save to your computer. Although this is a free design that I would like you to pass on to your friends and family, please pass on the link and not the downloaded project. As always, I teach my students alongside the instructions. Note, for BADFA members, these instructions are different to the newsletter. You have lots more information regarding liner work, etc. This is because these videos were not a part of the sharing plan at that time. For complete beginners, please watch the YouTube videos for sponging, tracing and transferring and liner work. I've printed off the instructions. Page 1 shows a picture of project plus the supplies list. I've used an MDF plaque 10 by 20 centimetres. The line drawn can be resized to suit other blanks if needed. Right, page 2, instructions. Sponge base coat, a basic sponge base coat, opaque coverage with black. Trace and transfer design. Note, to ensure the spider's thread is straight up and down and not swaying in the wind, measure with a ruler in a couple of places to achieve this. Yeah, that was fine. Liner work, zero liner. Mix silver paint with water to make an inky mix. Load the brush and paint over the words. Use as many strokes as you are comfortable using. Painting curves on letters, keeping the brush upright and just tickling the surface all at the same time will need a bit of concentration. Paint the web thread lines. Remember the golden rule, look where you're going and not where you've been. Okay, I'm going to have a look at this one. I've got a little bit of mending to do on the spider's webs and right off the transfer line there. And there's a little bit of a crossover there as well. I'm just going to mend this little panel in here, some black. There we go. Then the individual segments of the web are easier to do freehand. This means without transferred lines. These are short curved strokes. Start on one line, paint the curve and lift off on the next line. Start the next curve where you finished the last one. Continue in this way on all of the segments. How many rows you decide to paint on your web is entirely up to you. 
all webs are unique. They don't need to be evenly spaced, but they look best if each curved line joins up with the next one on the long lines. Mend if needed with black or silver paint. I've got a big wobble in the middle of that one. But apart from that, I think I'm alright. First, line the spider's legs, then fill in his body, and whilst the paint is still wet, use the number 10 flat brush on the chisel edge to make several texture lines on the spider's body. Leave the bottom plain. The eyes will be added later when it is dry. Special note, ensure you wash this flat brush really well before the dimensional paint dries on it. Have a cup of tea or coffee and a break from painting. This needs to dry thoroughly. The last thing you want to do is accidentally touch this and spoil the project. Trust me, I've done all the bad things when it comes to painting. With the handle end of the liner brush, add two white dots for his eyes. And then dry and add two smaller black dots to give him some character. Water droplets on the web. These don't show up on the photos, but this effect is brilliant. Silver Bloom Glamour Dust Paint. I'm in love with this range of glitter paint. It creates such classy bling. With the handle end of the liner brush, dip into the paint and add a dot along every line of his web. I squeezed some into a bottle top and dipped and dotted. For large dots, dip and dot. Or dip and do several dots before dipping again. These dots will be smaller each time you dot. Experiment and have some fun. Just sign and date your project. All done. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is free of charge, to be notified when each new project or tutorial is uploaded. Some videos are for Bad Fun Newsletter projects. For more information about our organisation, please visit the website www.badfa.org.
and until next time, happy painting! Hi everyone, I'm Jill Hobbs for the free, for the free pattern pack instructions can be downloaded from <laughs> pattern pack instructions can be downloaded from the from little acorns don't you giggle <laughs> you're not supposed to giggle from and from is quite <laughs> quite a doo -doo. Although this is a free design that I would like you to pass on to your fan friend <laughs> your friends. <laughs> oh. Go well eh? Go well oh, oh. shizzle. <laughs> the line drawing can be resized Oh wow. Note. To ensure the spider sh Dear Lord. <laughs> For more information about our or uh oh or 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 for more information about our <laughs> 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 Oh my god